Hey guys, it's Sam. Um, I just want to give you guys a heads up that the quality of this video is not where I want it to be, but uh, I didn't really have too much heads up. It was kind of last minute decision to rent a car um, that I decided, hey, why not review it? So I apologize for first, you know, the vertical uh, video shot um, and also just the rambling. Um, just the poor pans. Um, I really have very little to work with. And so, yeah, not a lot of time either. Didn't have my equipment. So, yeah, I apologize. Hopefully you guys can still at least glean some information that's useful to you guys. Um, yeah, so here's the rest of the video. Enjoy. All right, choosing a rental car. Um, so we got two Hyundai. Accent hatchbacks, and uh, we've got not driving that Corolla. There's a Veloster and a Ford Focus. Welcome to this quick and dirty car review of this 2016 Hyundai Veloster Automatic. This Hyundai Veloster comes with the option six speed dual clutch transmission, which has made it to a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder engine. The engine puts out 138 horsepower at 6,300 RPM and 123 pound feet of torque at 4,850 RPM. Redline is at 6,800. Now, the pros and cons the pros, it has decent storage space, it's affordable, and it's got sporty feel and handling. The cons is it's very slow, it's got terrible electric steering feeling, and there's some questionable design and engineering. Now the quirks, it's got three doors, which is kind of weird. It's got one driver side door and then two on the passenger side. The second passenger door allows ingress to the back seats. Finally, I just really don't like the interior door handles. They kind of come up and around and uh, they, they don't feel like they're secured well to the door. Pretty deep trunk space. Let's see. Fits our bags quite easily. I did get to drive a manual Veloster earlier. Um, a couple years ago from my friend Dave and I remember the shifter being a little plasticky but overall it was a kind of a fun little car definitely needed more power uh, and that's why they came out with the Veloster Turbo haven't driven that one yet our rental is an automatic because almost all rentals are automatic and uh, so we've got our stuff packed hopefully we'll uh, have a good time Hey guys, uh, Sam here. I am renting a Hyundai Veloster for the day. I'm here in New Orleans, Louisiana, and um, just got back from a nice trip. And yeah, I just wanted to take this opportunity to uh, give you guys a car review. So this car is pretty much brand new. It's a rental car, uh, 9,000 miles on the clock. And um, it's an automatic with the dual clutch transmission. Uh, interior is surprisingly nice. Uh, there's a lot of plastic and fake carbon fiber looking stuff. Uh, but yeah, overall the interior is uh, not too bad for its segment. Yeah, technically this is a midsize. Um, it's really interesting because it's got three passenger doors. It's got two in the passenger side and then the driver side only has one. Uh, Design-wise, it's an interesting feature, and um, it's it's kind of novel. So the braking is really good in this car. Um, just even leaving the airport, um, lightly pressing on the brake pedal, like really just stopped the car at low speeds. The bolstering on these seats are really nice. Uh, it's got side bolstering around your lower back. And good thigh bolsters. Uh, it's 
one of the better cars for sportiness in this rental segment. Power wise, you're not gonna pass anybody on the highway. Uh, it, to be honest, the, the Veloster, even when it first came out, didn't have much power in the segment and um, it was slow, it's still slow. The Veloster Turbo came out as a result, but from what I hear, I haven't driven one yet, uh, but it's still pretty slow. Um, but what do you expect for a car that is this cheap? Now, as far as the handling goes, I haven't really taken too many twisties on this. Uh, just some on and off ramps, and uh, it's tight enough. It's not too bad. Um, now, the steering feel is just kind of okay. Nothing special, electric steering, um, yeah. Now I haven't found any sport modes or anything like that. And uh, the steering wheel only goes through the radio and that kind of, that kind of stuff. Um, there are plenty of controls on the steering wheel. We've got uh, cruise control, volume control, go up and down on the on the tracks or uh, for the radio you got your trip settings and you, you do have access to your vo voice uh, commands you can pair your phone through Bluetooth on this and it has Apple Play and Android uh, Android Auto uh, I'm not gonna hook it up I just don't want to use it right now um, the gauge cluster is very simple uh, the the numbers and font they used is very modern, uh, well-rounded, um, and you've got your two center circles with the RPM and your speedometer, while the center has a slim uh, digital display with your temperature gauge and your fuel range as well as your odometer, outside temperature, um, and how much range you have uh, in your tank. Now going to the center console here, we see that uh, it's very much the same as uh, almost all of the other Hyundais in this generation. This very V-shape uh, with the with the touch screen in the center. Uh, very intuitive. I like personally. I like the uh, climate control because it's it's circular and it has all the things in one uh, one one knob. It's a multi-knob, but you know it, it is it is just one knob. Um, it's got the little Veloster logo here, which I'm curious to see what in the other Hyundai's uh, is is over there. Now, one thing um, that this car has that I think the other Hyundai's also have is this weird like wing buttress thing that I'm not too fond of because when you put stuff in the center, um, it's possible for stuff to slide out. And uh, that gets pretty annoying. Now, I've driven the manual transmission of the earlier model uh, when this car first came out within the first two years. And uh, the plastic shifter was very, I don't know, it didn't have a good feel to it. It felt like you're shifting a bunch of plastic. Uh, now this is an automatic with a dual clutch and it feels a lot better. Um, better materials, there's some leather on the on the shift knob. Um, and so that's pretty nice. Now, I kind of had a uh, dislike of hatchbacks, but since I started dailying one, it's starting to grow on me. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess the convenience of having that see-through back and the ease of putting stuff into the trunk is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I still don't, still don't like the looks too much. The door handles on this car. It's, it's got this weird same, same design as the center console with the buttress, which I don't like. Um, it just feels really weird and looks weird. It looks out of place. As far as the accenting and the, of the design, it looks similar, but I don't know why they chose to do this. Um, it doesn't contour very nicely. 
uh, with, with the shape of the rest of the door. And um, yeah. Now these windows are auto down only on the driver's side and uh, so you have to hold it for going up and all of the other windows. Uh, this is technically a coupe hatchback. Uh, because this car has three passenger doors, driver and passenger doors, there is three window switches. The steering wheel feels pretty nice. Uh, it's got this like kind of vinyl, fake leather, pleather. Uh, and it feels pretty good and it's got the extra little bumps here for driving. 